Hello, my name is Raquel and this is Pages of Life. Today we're going to be talking about something that is really very important and I would hope that you would pass this video blog on to your neighbors, your friends and family because this is some serious information that we really need to get out there. While breast cancer and cancer and HIV and AIDS and crime still remains to be the number one media focus attention, there is something that has been out there forever and we still seem to not get it. According to the Center of Disease Control and Prevention, the number one killer of African American men and African American women is heart disease. And for some reason, we do not seem to get it. This information has been around for the last 10 years. This has been in the news. We've had campaigns about eating healthy. Um, people have done um, workshops and seminars. People have done concerts talking about the African American uh, community needs to get healthy. Yet today, in the year of 2012, our counterparts, the white the Hispanics, their numbers are going down. But yet, in the African American community, we are still rising on uh, the number one killer for us is heart disease. I had an interesting conversation with a friend of mine that um, is a pastor. And we were talking and she said to me, she said, you know, uh, we were lied to growing up in church. Now, I think that they didn't mean to lie to us, but they did. They just, you know, raised us the way that they were raised. Basically, what she was saying was, we were told that there was no good thing in this flesh, this body. There's no good thing, and we don't need to worry about taking care of this body because this body is going to die, it's going to pass away. We don't need to, to make sure it's healthy. All we really needed to focus on was the spirit man. Make sure that your spirit man is saved and that your mind is right and that your life is right with Christ. But they neglected to tell us that if we didn't eat right, we were going to die from heart disease. We were going to die from high cholesterol. We were going to die from clogged arteries and diabetes. People, today, I, I need this to be a wake-up call. Because growing up in the church, you know, there were a lot of things that we could not do that were deemed wrong that we couldn't do. We couldn't, it, it was bad really for us to play sports. We couldn't really go to the, uh, to the games because that was on a Friday night and Friday night church was going on. And God forbid if you were a cheerleader, don't be a cheerleader with the short skirts and shaking your butt. Oh, you definitely couldn't do that. And please don't think about going to a dance. No, you could not go to a dance. And why do you need to exercise? What are you going to be doing aerobic, shaking your butt? Why do you need to exercise? You don't need to exercise. God's not concerned about your outward appearance or your body. It's your spirit man that you need to take care of. But people, we grew up going out to eat, going to sister so-and-so's house to eat. And that's all we did. We ate and went to church and went to bed and got fat. And our hearts started getting clogged with with cholesterol and all those bad things. I'm making an appeal to you today. Heart disease is the number one killer. I need for you all to hear me. Heart disease is the number one killer for African American males and African American females. It's time to wake up people. God is not going to send you to hell because you're concerned about your physical body. I mean, really, we've heard so many stories about preachers dropping dead in the pulpit from a heart attack. And you know what they say? Oh, the devil came right in and got that preacher man. No, that preacher man was eating bad food all his life, and that's why he dropped, dropped dead. He had nothing to do but the devil. He didn't take care of his body. I need for you all to wake up. That light needs to go on, people. We have to start moving. We have to get these bodies moving. Get up out of those pews. Get up off of that couch. Go walking. Go running. Join the fitness club. Okay? Join a dance group. Join something. Aerobics. Get yourself active. 
and you're eating, your menus, the stuff that we're cooking, we have to do better, people. We have to make better choices in our foods. This, to me, is so serious because it has a lot to do with the way we were raised. I am a Christian. I am a diehard Christian. I love Christ. I'm not religious, but I'm very spiritual. And then when it comes down to this physical body, I have to live in this physical body until Christ returns. And so do you. Christ don't want you to be in pain. Christ don't want you having heart attacks. He don't want you drop dead, drop um, uh, walking down the street and just drop dead. He doesn't want that. And guess what, people? Heart disease doesn't start overnight. High cholesterol doesn't start overnight. It starts from when we're babies. What are we feeding our children? What are we allowing our children to eat? Those things with, with, with um, uh, what, what is it, the, um, the, the saturated fats and the high um, fructose corn syrups and, and all of those things. Yes, we can have those things in moderation. But the reality of it is, during my research, they were saying that this information has been around for years. Yet, the African American community is not making any strides to do better where heart, heart disease is concerned. So when I think about that, I'm thinking that we're, being, from coming from a Christian standpoint of view, are we still saying that God is going to heal us? Are we still going to say that we don't have to be worried about these bodies? Are, are, what are we saying? I need for you to hit me up and tell me what you think. I, I want to hear your thoughts on this, okay? Because pretty soon we're going to start a campaign Pages of Life is going to start a healthy watch campaign, and we're going to hit this thing hard. And I want you to join me. Because guess what? This starts from our babies. What are we feeding our kids? We want our kids to be healthy. We want them to live longer. Okay? So you hit me up. Let's dialogue about this. we got to get moving. we got to get active. Okay? Get off of them pews in the church. Get off of those seats. Get from in front of that TV and get yourself out there running and moving those hips. And I'm talking about exercising. I'm not talking about dancing for the Lord. I'm talking about exercising. I'm talking about making better choices in your foods. Okay? Also, stress. You got to stop stressing. They say if you're going to pray, don't stress. If you're going to stress, don't pray. But it's not that simple. We need to start having other outlets to relieve stress. And working out is a good way to relieve stress. Join a gym. Join a dance, uh, dance group. Get yourself out there and start moving. Okay? Hit me up. Talk back to me. I love you, and I want to leave you with this. What are you writing on the pages of other people's lives? And what are you allowing them to write on your pages? Be blessed. Oh, and for goodness sake, be healthy. I love you. Now I seek your face. Don't you turn me away. Don't you turn me away. Don't you turn me away. Don't you turn me away.